In this video, I'll be covering how to get and find photography jobs. So the first thing you want to do is to feature your business in the local marketplace. So let's type in photography here. Yelp.com is one of the great places for you to go about and actually feature your business. So typing in photography in here and searching local competitors, you will see that you have a bunch of different people who are taking pictures over here. And you can go about and you can create your own profile. You can pay them a little bit extra. And by paying them extra, you're gonna be featured on the first page. As you can see, most of the people who are featured on the first page, they paid money for it. What do you think that this one that has four reviews and two of them are very, very bad, why is it still featured on the front page? It is because they paid Yelp to be actually featured. And look at this, there is nine other pages showing photography listings, but those guys are hidden. Maybe because they don't have reviews or maybe because they didn't pay to place their listings on Yelp. So this is a great way for you to get jobs. Plus you can run a deal, look at this, 50 to 75 bucks off deal. Although this is not the best way to get jobs because people who are searching they might actually find it. The number two place that you can get jobs is tomtech.com. Over here, let's type in photography. You can create whatever kind of photography that you're doing for the locally, let's say portrait photography. And let's get the zip code. And here is the whole competition right here for you. So what kind of pictures would you like is the question right here and you can fill it up, the blank and so on. And you can continue doing so. But the whole emphasis here is actually for you to find a photography job locally. So one of the things that constantly working for you when you use Thumbtack, you're going to have a bunch of different people send you job requests over here. And sometimes you'll get photography requests. I have a lot of those that are coming in. And here we go. Here is a portrait photography request right here. And when you press on this, somebody is looking for this job. And they want somebody to be hired for portrait photography, newborn portraits. This is the specific one they're looking for. Photo studio, 6 to 10 shots. And here is the budget. If you don't like it, you can pass. If you do like it, you can have a pre-made quote made for them and press on send. Or you can go about and you can create a different kind of quote depending on what they write, which is going to be a lot more effective. The only thing about Thumbtag is that you have to pay money for it. So it costs you three bucks to send the quote. Now, on the other hand, if they don't even look at the quote itself, you'll get a refund. But it's a good way for you to get a potentially very expensive job that's going to pay for itself a few times over. Now, let's go back in here. Take a look at any other jobs that are potentially coming over here. There's a lot of rough coaches, a lot of other jobs in here because I signed up for a lot of things combined. So you may not get a lot of photography jobs and it all depends on the market. But if you do sign up for a bunch of different kind of things, it's going to get all swamped in there, including with the things that you want and you don't. So if I got rid of life coach, I probably would have had a bunch of different photography, social media and so on over here requests. So this is one thing you can do. Plus, you can do other jobs as well. And some of those are not local. The third place for you to go about and find jobs online is going to be regulars.com. This is an easy one. It's the free one for you to go about and do this. And it is very, very simple for you. So where do you find it? Well, there is a few locations here. You can just go type in photography well they're advertising some local so wedding photography starting at 300 bucks right here that is listed a few places that they're putting in is creative services event services computer services and so on so you can see where the competitors are putting it in plus you can go about take a look at somebody who is doing something similar and in my city he's going for 300 bucks so if you want to undercut the price you can undercut his price by going about and creating your own wedding photography business starting at 250 So that's going to be just a suggestion for you. And of course, it's starting at, and it probably is a lot more expensive if it's going to add all the different kind of extras included. 
So here are more jobs right here as well. How do you find jobs locally? Well, you can go in and you can post them in, let's say, events. Here is one section right here. Events section, you can post in an upcoming job. You can post in a lot of different other ones such as jobs. Maybe you're looking for somebody to help you to be an assistant. You can also look at other kind of locations as well here. So services would be, well, I would be posting my actual job as a photographer, such as creative right here. And most photographers are using this specific service to post things in. Therefore, you have to go and use some other locations where nobody really posts that much about your own photography. Here is another one right here, wedding and engagement photography. Plus this guy posted a lot of images as well you can have up to 22 different images and of course we're having a lot of amazing images it's going to get him a lot more jobs and another place where you can go and get clients groupon.com in groupon.com let's type in photography and then all we have to do is just type it in make sure it is local by the way First of all, you're going to see all your local competitors. There are some other deals here as well. But of course, look at this. Different cities have different kind of wedding photographers, maybe some other kind of photography services as well over here. So a lot of photo sessions, some commercials as well, and sometimes it will be just wedding photography. So photography class could be one of the things that is going for, and take a look at this lots of different photography class that are posted over here now let's go and type in event photography and let's put this in and we have a bunch of different events and events over here in groupon if you don't see anything that works for you in those specific areas such as groupon itself look at this it got buried in here maybe we use the wrong keyword so we have to try to do just photography and then say we have a different one right here family photography session let's try this one and look at this there was a few in here here is one ad by the picture people another one by the picture people and those are all the featured one here is another one right there as well and a few commercials and those are not local so we have a few here that are featured and it all depends on your city you gotta go search what is going on here and see if you can go and create a deal with Groupon another site is Living Social Living Social actually joined together with Groupon but it is really a different kind of website so if you're running something with Groupon it will be featured on Living Social as well type in photography right here photography press on search and you're gonna see very similar deals going on over here plus there could be a lot more of them in this specific one well here is a local one right here by the picture people and they're showing in studio photo session those are more uh, Groupon and living social a lot harder for folks like me and you to get in here but if you do get lucky and they do feature your merchant over here you're going to get a lot of people who will become your clients and it took me a while to get featured in one of those before but i was able to get a lot of clients who would go and do a photography class with me so you can try this one out as well 